out here on the street I'm losing my way You've gotten to me And that's my mistake what is up guys, welcome back to another race day vlog. Now this one, have you probably seen from the title, another half marathon, pretty much my favorite race out of all kind of running races. Feel it's just like perfect distance between like a full marathon and like a 10K. It really, really tests the limits and I feel like I can really give it like 100%. I don't have to pace myself, I can just go all out. So um, yeah, seven, it's not the seven news actually, half marathon this year i think it's called something else but it's on the gold coast i've done it the last two years and yeah it's tomorrow you guys that are watching this obviously it's already been um you probably already know my time but it's saturday night i just had dinner i'll show you guys what i had for dinner decent carb load um throughout the day i've kind of been having some extra carbs nothing too crazy and funnily enough like this week has just been horrible preparation um it could be worse because i'm actually feeling pretty good today but i've been sick like all week up and down um yeah vomited on monday morning um felt crap whole week after that diarrhea gastro just everything um yeah couldn't run how i usually would prefer obviously i'd be tapering anyway but i just um yeah couldn't run um, and taper properly. So this morning I went for a little shakeout run, first run in yeah probably three or four days, and just put my foot down and did um just one. Or, I think I did two kilometers. Um, it was a six k run, but in between that did a one kilometer at like three thirty pace. I wasn't really looking at my watch, just really wanted to get some feel for some pace. And yeah, I was surprised. And the legs are feeling good. I'm feeling fresh now, so I'm actually got a decent amount of confidence going into tomorrow that it's going to be a good race so what i thought i would show you quickly the night before so i'm not rushing around and doing it together is pretty much my full race day kit for tomorrow so let's start from the feed up um while i was in melbourne that was another thing while i was sick i was also in melbourne and yeah it was just not the best week but i picked up these from dfo adidas addy zero um, Primex, um, usually 400 and something bucks, and got them for $200 at TFO, so happy with that, and tested them out a few times, and I'm keen to wear those tomorrow, give them a shot. Um, moving up, we've got Alice KD Performance Socks, I wear these for pretty much every single day now to run in, um, and they're just ideal, they got cushion everywhere, they got cushion down the bottom, they got cushion up the top um they're perfect um super lightweight but also heaps of cushion so i never get blisters with these so alice kd performance socks my go-to um then we're going to move up alice kd tights these are the ones that i'm going to be wearing tomorrow they have the pockets either side so gels will be going in the left side um and probably have nothing in the right side i'm not taking my phone i won't be listening to any music because I'm just a beast like that. <laughs> I'm just joking, but I don't listen to music anymore when I race because I was just saying to Katie before, I just enjoy kind of like soaking it all in and just running on pure thoughts in my head, which is kind of strange for some people, but that's what I do. And we've got Alice Katie white vapor flex singlet. I usually just keep this one purely for racing. It's nice and fresh. And I'll be putting on the number tonight as well. Um, got my Insta360 small little camera, which I'll be wearing on the head. So hopefully show you guys a little bit of um, footage while I'm running, like I did with my other Gold Coast 10K video. Um, Alice KD cap. The camera will be going on the front there. So I'll have to wear it backwards like that. It is what it is. Um, so pretty appreciative that I'm getting that extra footage for you guys because honestly I got short hair now I'd prefer to, prefer to probably just chuck these on and then um, yeah wouldn't have to wear a hat but I'm wearing the hat for the content so hope you guys like the video um, and last thing I'll just show you guys so I don't have to talk about it tomorrow 
Are we having one Endura um, gel? I might take one before the start line, five minutes beforehand. I've heard other people doing it. I've never actually done it um, because I will be having G1M Sport and a heap of other carbs as well. But yeah, I might give it a shot. I might have one of these five minutes before the race and then every eight kilometers. So eight kilometers in, uh, which will be about 35 minutes, I think. 35 to, yeah, it should be around 30 to 35 minutes. Um, and then I'll have another one at 16K. So eight and 16K, so you guys that are wondering when I take gels, and that should get me through all the way to the finish line. So yeah, that's pretty much the full race day kit. So my goal time for the race tomorrow is going to be a sub, I'm just gonna say 125. I'm probably gonna set it up, my, up on my watch to run a little bit faster than that. I did have high hopes to run a sub 122. I might still gun for that. But um, yeah, like I said, I've had a shitty week. Um, but I am feeling good today. So man, it might be time to get that sub 122, which won't be a PR, but this course tomorrow has some crazy hills. And I think my best is like 122, 10 or 15 or something like that. So if we can get under that 122, that'd be amazing. But yeah, I'm not gonna be crying on the side of the road if I don't hit it, but we're gonna go hard nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning for my morning routine pre-race. All right, currently 10, or like 13 to five, pre-race nutrition, banana on some rice cakes with some honey, double shot coffee for a bit of caffeine energy, make me go toilet as well. Then we got two scoops of G1M in here with one scoop of electrolytes. I'm probably gonna start drinking that in about half an hour or so and then i'll stop drinking that around 30 minutes before the race so that's pretty much all i'll be having here and that should get me well fueled for the race this morning Quick little voiceover, um, didn't start in the best position. So as you can see here, just had to weave around everyone, which was pretty annoying because I like kind of starting fast, but eventually got into a decent spot. Um, Dave was running right with me at the start and then yeah, kind of broke away into the faster little groups. Had a group of probably four or five of us with these guys here. This is the first hill on the first lap. It's absolute torture, it's steep as, but um, as you come over the top, it's pretty much like a few kilometers of like downhills, which is great, um, kind of catch up on a little bit of speed and bank some time. Um, fair few of these drink stations around, I didn't drink a hell of a lot of water. Hey, Fiona. It's windy. Nice salt hills, eh? Yeah. Savage, but yeah. feeling decent, eh? Yeah, yeah it's not pretty strong. That's just the one little bit of footage that I got of Dave while we're running, but um, yeah, felt good. This is where the girls got me on the first lap. This was coming up to about 10 kilometers. 
felt really good at this point and kind of broke away from Dave. I just had to kind of run my own race. Um, but yeah, as you see, <laughs> give a little wave. I was feeling great. Um, but And then yeah, got ready for the second lap. There's the girls there where I was waving to. Um, and then yeah, we keep going up to that hill again just here. It's absolutely savage, but again, get a little bit of a downhill. Started catching a few guys on the second lap. I don't think anyone really passed me on the second lap and I managed to pass a few guys. Pretty much just throwing water on my face. Wasn't really drinking too much of it. Although I did start to cramp near the end of the race, which wasn't too good. But um, this great guy in the green singlet caught up to me and then I kind of caught up to him and then ended up leaving him behind. He was kind of trying to get my windbreak. But that's pretty much it. We um. Unfortunately, my camera on my head, my head cam died um, and Katie accidentally didn't get the footage at the end. But that's pretty much it for the race footage and I'm just going to show you guys the rest of the video. Alright, we just finished. That was 122.26 on the watch. Says it went like another 100 meters, so I don't know. I don't think we got, well, we didn't get under 122, but it is what it is. It was a good race. I started cramping like crazy at the end, but you probably can't hear much anyway, so we'll do, a, we'll do another recap in a minute. All right, we're in the car now. You can probably hear me a little bit better, but um, yeah, that's the race done. Run of 122, we didn't get under 122, but i um, really happy with the race. Like I said at the start of the video, preparation was not good at all, so I'm actually really happy with that. Um, Dave, me and Dave ran for around seven, eight kilometers together, and then I'm sorry, Dave, but I had to leave you behind because I'm just like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks Dave for running with me for a little bit there. And Dave ran a really good race as well. Seen a heap of other people that I know. So it was an amazing morning. It was super windy. Um, there's some crazy hills on that course. It's not a flat course. So nonetheless, um, yeah, happy with that time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go get some breakfast now. Thank you guys for watching the video. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see in the race day kind of vlogs let me know if there's any info that I've kind of left out um, I don't think I mentioned this is that this is the watch that I use at the moment Garmin um, Forerunner 965 um, amazing watch first time using it for a race went really well so shout out Garmin for the Garmin watch um, and yeah that's pretty much it if you guys aren't subscribed already make sure you subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it and yeah I'll see you on the next one all right, we already done the outro, but one last thing, bit of recovery. Um, six bags of ice in here. I'd say that is at freezing point, and I'm gonna try to do maybe like five or six minutes. And yeah, I'm not keen, but it's gotta be done. My legs are aching like crazy, so get this done, and then chill out for the rest of the day. But yeah, let's do it. Alrighty, now that's actually the end of the video, so thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I might do another video through the week, kind of on some more recovery stuff post-race, but um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this ice bath. I'll see you later. You gave me your heart and took it